Hi and welcome back to her tool belt. Today we are making some wood signs with scroll-like wording, but we'll be using the Cricut Maker 3. Cricut has a few different types of machines and the Maker series is really versatile. It can cut up to 300 different types of materials from really thin materials like crepe paper, can do paper, material, leather, and today we're gonna to be using some chipboard and some basswood. I'm gonna show you how I made this fun Boys Were Made for Adventure wood sign. It uses an 18 inch round piece of wood, plywood, or MDF, and then I use the Cricut to cut out all of these details. So the black portions, I used vinyl to create the template. Then I used two millimeter chipboard and basswood to create the fun layered effect on adventure. One of, the, one of the best things about doing things yourself is not only do you get the sense of accomplishment when you finish the project, but if you wanna change it up for different situations, I mean, really the sky's the limit. On this one, I had a scrap piece of plywood that I thought would be fun to create the, the river that goes through with the grain on the plywood and then I used all kinds of colors and different features to make it look totally different but really it's the same design so it's really fun to customize things and make it your own. One of the greatest things about the Cricut Maker 3 is that it's really simple to use and it does all of the hard detail for us and we just have to paint it and put it together and it turns out really fun. Okay, so we open up Cricut Design Space and we click on Boys Were Made for Adventure sign. And you can come down here and you can customize it or make it. So I'm gonna click Make It. At this step we can choose if we're gonna cut everything without a mat, on a mat, or multiple ways. So since I'll be using some Smart Vinyl, I'm gonna click Multiple Ways because the smart vinyl doesn't require a mat, but the chipboard and the basswood do require a mat. So I'll be cutting the vinyl background with smart vinyl, so my width will be 13 inches and it just uses whatever it needs on the length. And then I hit continue. I make sure I have the right uh, Cricut product selected. And then I can click my material and if, you're, if you don't have your materials favorited, then you can come down here to browse all materials and you can pick what you're gonna use. So I'm gonna use Smart Vinyl Removable. You just have to make sure you have the fine point blade in. I installed the handy Smart Vinyl tray. So as long as everything's good to go, then you push the load button then you push the play button. The next step is the optional under layer of the adventure words. So with these letters, I'm gonna use some 2.0 chipboard. You can use, you know, whichever material you pick but my chipboard is 11 inches wide. And I'm gonna flip this to on the mat. So I am gonna move these um, letters around. I'm gonna rotate this a little bit so I have enough room for the cutting. And I can just, I wanna make sure I'm somewhere in between the red line and the 11 inches because I know that that's my limit on the on the chipboard. So I kind of rotated that. Now I'm going to rotate the ADV. I'm just going to tuck that up in here. And then I can go ahead and continue. So I'm going to pick heavy chipboard 2.0. Craft board would work great too. So it tells me to move the star wheels out of the way. And then I need to load the knife blade in clamp B. Then I will hit load, and once it's loaded and ready to go, then I hit play. Okay. 
I bought my first Cricut 15 years ago to cut vinyl for my woodcrafts. Back then you had a little cartridge and you were limited to whatever was on the cartridge. But now with all the technology advancements, there are a variety of different types of blades, tools, or pens that can fit into the holders to cut, draw, score, engrave, you name it. So for this layer, I have 6 inch by 12 inch basswood pieces. So I need to come over here and say I'm going to use a mat. I'm going to just leave the material size is 12 by 12. And I want to make sure that I give myself plenty of space. I'm going to have a piece from 0 to 6 inches and then another piece from 6 to 12. So I'm just going to make sure my incher is centered from the 6 to 12. And then my ADV is up between 0 and 6. Okay, so that one's ready to go and I can hit continue. And then I'm going to pick uh, basswood. And it wants me to make sure I have the knife blade loaded. And then when I have the basswood on the mat with the masking to help it stay then I'll load the mat and once it's loaded then I can push play. Sometimes when you get to the deeper parts of the basswood, the knife blade will have a little bit of an issue if the wood starts um, coming up. If that's the case, just take an X-Acto knife and you can finish cutting any little pieces that didn't quite make it out. So for the back side of the sign, I'm going to use a scrap piece of 3 quarter inch MDF that I have. And I'll use this handy little router circle jig to cut out my 18 inch circle. If you don't have power tools and stuff like that to cut out the 18 inch circle, you can just buy a 18 inch blank circle from somewhere like Home Depot or one of the other home improvement stores. There's lots of ways to cut out a circle. There's a bandsaw, a jigsaw, a scroll saw. I'm going to be using a router and I have this handy little circle jig that makes a nice little perfect circle but first I need to find the center of my 18 inch circle so I can mount this little uh, jig and then so once I get this mounted the on the back side of this jig there's a little hole that goes into this stud and that just swivels around this stud and I'll get a nice perfect circle MDF is notorious for sucking up paint, so I'm going to use a spray lacquer to seal the MDF edges. Once dry, I prime the MDF and then I'm going to paint it white and just lightly sanding in between each layer of paint. For the under layer of Adventure, I used an aged gray flat paint. I used briar smoke to stain the basswood adventure words. Once all paint and stain are fully dry, I super glue the words together. I used the vinyl as a template to paint the background. I weeded out the parts I wanted to paint. Then applied transfer tape over the vinyl. I removed the vinyl backing and placed it on my 18 inch wood round. The 
The paint can be applied lightly with a brush, but I decided to lightly spray paint it on. I removed a couple places of the adventure vinyl to mark the placement for later. Then I removed the rest of the vinyl. I used a router and a keyhole bit to make a hanger. Then I used a chamfer bit to create a little detail around the edge. This is totally optional. Finally, I glued the adventure words onto the sign. And we're done. This was a super fun project. The Cricut Maker did all of the hard detail work. This white sign is very monochromatic, but you could really go crazy with all your color combinations and, and really make it a fun sign. The link to this project is in the description below with all the materials needed and, and how to make the project. Thanks, thanks again for watching and please subscribe.